Hey everybody, welcome to another Pro Acoustics Tech Talk. I'm Nathan, and today we're gonna to talk about how to connect ceiling speakers to an amplifier. All right, so connecting ceiling speakers to an amplifier involves a specific wiring configuration commonly used in commercial audio installations. Uh, this is going to be a 70 volt uh, installation. What we're going to do is we're going to need some speaker wire, we're going to need a 70 volt amp, we're going to need a ceiling speaker, we're going to need a screwdriver. Um, I've already stripped the wires. You got questions on how to strip wire? Uh, we have another video you can check out. I am going to come over to my amplifier and I am going to check and see uh, polarity. This is a, a 70 volt amplifier with a uh, Phoenix plug or Euroblock connector on it. Um, sometimes these have uh, speak on, sometimes they have um, screw terminals, but in this particular amp, we do have a Phoenix plug or Euroblock. So I'm gonna take my positive wire and I am going to put that into the positive uh, screw terminal, tighten that down, very nice. Now I'm gonna take my negative I'm gonna make sure that uh, I don't have any stray wires touching or anything like that that might cause a short. That's nice and tight. And then from there, I'm gonna come over to the speaker. Before I hook up to the speaker, I'm gonna double check my 70 volt tap, which is on the front on this particular speaker. Um, and basically, I am going to check and see that I am on 70 volt. I am, I am currently on the one watt setting which is perfectly fine for background music. And now that I know that I have confirmed that I have it in 70 volt, I am gonna go ahead and wire up to my first speaker in line. It also has a Euroblock connector. I'm gonna remove that connector. Uh, I'm gonna check the polarity, polarity meaning positive or negative. Um, on these Euroblock connectors, you wanna double check that you, uh, you know, are hooking up to the correct one. Some speaker manufacturers do positive, negative, positive, negative. Some do positive, negative, negative, positive. And you wanna select a pair of these because these are generally in parallel. You can see I do not have power hooked up to my amplifier while I'm doing this. If you are making these connections, you wanna make sure your amplifier is off. I'm gonna use the pair on the right. I'm gonna put my positive into that positive terminal. I'm going to tighten that up. And now I'm going to wire up my negative to the speaker. That's tightened up. Now I'm going to plug this connector back in. There we go. Now at this point, I might have more speakers in line I need to connect. That is where the other two connections would come in. That's basically a pass through to go through over to your next speaker. I would take another speaker wire and come out of this connection, making sure to keep positive to positive, negative to negative, and wire over to my other speaker. At that point, um, I can go ahead and, you know, now my connections are safe and snug. I could power on my amplifier and quietly play music, ensuring that everything looks good and uh, bring that up quietly. At that point, I'd be able to test, you know, does everything sound nice and clean, clean and clear? I may find that I want a little bit more wattage out of this speaker. At that point, I would go and adjust the volume by going to the front terminal and uh, changing what tap setting I have that on with the click of the screwdriver, which by going to a higher wattage, I would actually end up giving more volume out of that particular speaker. We want to keep in mind the headroom of the amplifier, but that's a way that we can adjust uh, the, a little bit the volume of every individual speaker in line. So uh, we want to make sure and keep those balanced, and we want to make sure normally that they're all set to the same setting if you have lots of speakers in mind. Uh, keep in mind the tap setting on your speaker may be on the front, maybe on the back, maybe a series of multicolored leads, but this is a fairly standard representation of what you're going to see from a lot of ceiling speakers out there. Uh, if you're not sure about any portion of this process, definitely reach out to us or a professional. Uh, I'm Nathan, and until next time, guys.